Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Today is Wednesday, the 8th of May 2019. I'm going to go through some UK and US stocks on my watch list and give a technical analysis breakdown. Let's get straight into the video. Remember to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. Um, I've also got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Not Trade on all social media platforms. And if you check the uh, description section below, there's a link to my mailing list. If you join my mailing list, you get priority free access to my training course that I'm creating for my website. You also get emails weekly to your inbox of my latest videos and a breakdown in a spreadsheet format of my entries, my exits, and the trades that I make. So we've got four UK stocks and two US stocks today to break down on the list. Uh, let me get straight into it. The first one is Kaz. So I broke this down yesterday. I'm just gonna give you an update on it. Um, yeah, Kaz, once again, if just a recap, if you didn't see yesterday's video, um, there's a, a strong line at about six pounds at six pounds you can see that was a previous resistance resistance a support a support um on the daily chart the 180 day simple moving average is, is underneath the price and rising and the macd and rsi are concurving upwards so they so the mac the rsi is in oversold uh, territory and the macd is looks like it's about to curve upwards as you can see here it's it's, it's like a roller coaster that's has hit the bottom and now it's going to start rising again on the four hour chart, much of the same. The only thing I think I'd say that's different is that the 180 day simple moving average is above price. So that's just something to look out for because price may decide to fall. But as I see it right now, we're at a perfect point, entry point. I haven't entered this position um, for no reason really. I just haven't entered it. Uh, if you go on the two hour chart, once again, staying true to this line here. I don't, I don't expect it to break below it. As you can see, the, the RSI and MACD looks oversold. And if you look at the MACD, you could draw a line here. It looks like it's, it's, it's a, a line coming up. So um, I'd, I'd expect price to start rising from this point onwards. Uh, this will be a great entry point, as I said yesterday, because the stop loss would be really tight. And then you could really have a great risk to reward ratio because with a tight stop loss, you can only risk a small amount of capital to make a lot on this trade. So um, still a good, good time to enter this trade. My next one is... IAG so this is the trade that I'm currently in and it's been going well for me because I shorted it I shorted it and um, we're pretty much at the point now where I would say it's a good time to exit uh, if you look at the daily chart I said that once it hits the support line I would think about exiting it but because it's the price has fallen so drastically and and um, on the daily chart, the price has fallen to the support line, but it's fallen so drastically. And if you look at the MACD, the MACD looks like it's still got way more to go. So does the so does the RSI. You think it would already be in? Um, it'd be below thirty if it's near support, because right here, last time it was near support, it was at support line. The the MACD was really low. The RSI was was uh, below thirty. So do you see that here? But here. The MACD and RSI isn't really even the lowest point, so I think that it's still got further to fall. But um, but I'd say there'd probably be a little bit of a retracement before it falls again. But I still, I, I, I truly believe that it's going to break the support. But um, I'd say the best way to go about it would be, I haven't exited my position yet, but it would be to exit half a position upon market entry tomorrow and then just see how it plays out. And if it breaks the support, then I'll re-enter. Uh, my of my half position and hopefully ca like, carry on shorting it but as it stands it's a descending channel patterns hit the middle support and resistance come back down 180 day simple moving average is curving downwards which tells us that price is falling in in the overall macro sense and um and if you look at the macd and the rsi they are falling but they're not in in as low point as they should be for the fact that they're hitting support so that means that tells me that there's further for it to go because as I said it, it hit, at this point it was way lower than it is now here on the MACD and RSI. So yeah, uh, I'd say exit half position, I'll exit half position tomorrow and then I'll probably see if it carries on falling, which I expect it to. Then we've got another UK stock which is NMC. NMC 
health, so I'm guessing a healthcare company. So these are some lines I drew, drew up on it um, recently. So once again, see look, I'm, it looks like I'm work, doing a lot of, um, I have a lot of short bias, and it seems to be the case that the short, the short positions are the ones that are really standing out to me right now. Um, the 180 day simple moving average is curving downwards, which is what I like to see. Um, if you see this horizontal line at about uh, uh, 29 pounds 84 this was has been an old this has been a, a support here and a resist and a resistance here 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 and here 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 so it looks like it's gonna be coming down some more it's already hit this point this would have been a great point to enter a short position but I hadn't seen this until just now so but um, better late than never I guess um, on the four hour chart, what I like to see is what's happening. Price has broken out to the downside of the 15 day exponential moving average and then come back to consolidate. So what I like to see now is for price to carry on falling after consolidating under the 15 day exponential moving average. As you guys know, I use the purple line which is the 15 day exponential moving average on the four hour chart as my signal for ent entering the trade. Once it breaks out of it, consolidates against it, that's, that's how, when I know that it's, I'm in a position where I can enter a short or a long trade and this is what I like to see so it's done that so now I'd like to see it sell off a bit more and then I'd probably enter that for a short position um, if you go back to the daily chart uh, another good thing about it is that the once again the MACD and RSI MACD is a really like high position here it looks like it needed to sell off and uh, so I'm MACD here and so is RSI so this is a good sign because last time it was it was in around the same around the 80 80 point mark on the RSI it sold off a lot so here was at 80 here no it wasn't at 80 here but here was at 80 and here it's about 80 as well on the RSI and it looks like it's going to sell off so I'd say this is this is a good good one to uh, take a short position on and if you took a short position on this it would yeah you're looking at a good 1000 pips that if you look from here to here that was eight, 900 pips in 21 days which is quite good and uh, previous position was yeah 1000 1100 pips in 21 days so there's a there's room for a lot of uh, uh, falling there's a room for the price to fall a lot so this would be a great short uh, position and TUI, so TUI is a, I think it's an airline company as well, so it seems like these airline companies are, are in trouble. TUI, uh, once again, another descending channel pattern. If you see something that you that, that you traded a lot of times before and it's working for you, why not just carry on trading it? That's what I say, so don't try and find something too complicated if, if what's working for you is working for you. It's been descending channel pattern since May 2018, so this, this company's just been doing really badly. It's been free falling for some time. It's kind of the same industry as JetBlue, but it's a UK company, TUI, it's a travel agency company. So it's at the it's descending channel pattern. It's at the resistance line. It broke out the resistance lines the here before, but then it quickly sold off afterwards. It's at the resistance line, started selling off, and I think it's gonna carry on selling off. Uh, 180 day simple moving average, curving downwards and above price, what I like to see if I'm shorting. And uh, yeah, so it's hit the resistance. Looks like it's already started selling off. And the MACD, MACD looks like it's, it's about to curve downwards into negative territory. RSI is selling off really fast. So the, these two indicators are really telling me that it's gonna it's gonna sell off in a really um, volatile fashion. Not volatile, but quickly. It looks like it might come down really fast just based on the, the angle of the RSI and the angle of the MACD. Which means I can, if I took a position position on this, it may sell off in, in a matter of a quick amount of time in a couple of days. Which is what I like to see because I don't like to be in a position for too long. On the 4 hour chart, 4 hour chart doesn't really tell us much else, much difference. It's broken out of the, one inch in the 15 day exponential moving average. Because it, it sold off so much um, on this Tuesday is yesterday I'm expecting it to probably retrace and come back up because I would retrace come back up consolidate underneath the uh, 15 day exponential moving average and then sell off some more so it'd be I'd say if I was to short it I let it come up some more so I could even be in more of an advantageous position and let it come up a bit more and then short when it's when it's when it's 
gone up as much as it's going to go. And then so that I could get way more out of this trade. But yeah, all of these trades are looking quite kind of similar there right now. But um, whatever, whatever you see that, if you see a pattern working and it's, and it's working for you, just keep trading it. And right now, the way the market's going, having a short bias might be a good thing. As I said, as I said in yesterday's video, because of all this craziness going on with um, the U.S. and China trade talks, it's, it's sending the market into a bit of a frenzy. And there's a lot of uh, there was a big sell-off yesterday. So, um, but I think a lot of the uh, indices have started to recover from that after the shock of what happened yesterday. But I'm still I'm still holding a short bias for my own personal reasons because I, as I said, I feel like there's a recession coming in the next year or so. So. And uh, prices are over overinflated for a lot of these stocks, so sell-offs are bound to happen. So I'd rather be caught on the right side of a of a position where I'm shorting. Um, now onto the U.S. stocks, FMV or CWT for some of you, but it's FMV for me, which is California Water Service. So this is this this trade this uh, analysis is a real testament to the fact that you need to make sure you um all the signs are there before you enter a trade because if you go in gone ho you can get burnt this one i saw it when it hit this position and was climbing and it looked like it could be a good long position but i said i wanted to, to wait for it to break out a little bit more because it hadn't really convinced me that it was a bullish move and it's been lingering ever since so i'm happy that i didn't take a position otherwise i would have just been like f fluctuating around like break even point for a couple of days and that would have just been quite annoying so um, that's why you need to make sure that you, you 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 see a bullish sign. All the signs are there for you. So on the one hour chart, I plotted the, these lines. So this I had these two kind of channel pattern lines, and I said to myself, price needs to break out of this line. So this five oh six one. I set an alert on it, but I think I deleted it. Let me set another alert. Price needs to break out of this point five zero six one if I want to ever take a bullish move. And as it stands, it's hit it, rejected it, hit it, rejected it, hit it, rejected it three times. It looks like it might be uh, getting ready to try a fourth time. But the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour chart seems to be acting as a resistance. So for what I know, tomorrow it might come up and then and then hit the 180 day simple moving average and sell off some more. So you just have to wait and see. Wait, if it, what I like to see if it, if it breaks out of, of this line, I'll get the alert. And then maybe I'll see if, if a long position could be made. If it doesn't break out this line, it will most likely break out to the, to the downside. <clears throat> Sorry. And then you can short it. So either way, a position could be taken on this. But right now, it's just fluctuating. And it hasn't decided what it's going to do yet. So let the trade tell you what it's going to do before you make a move. So this is what I'm just, I'm, I'm just watching. Um, I'm just watching and seeing what's going to happen. And just waiting and see, to be honest. And the last one is Juniper. This one's been on my watch list for quite some time, but I just haven't had the um, been in the right position to make a good uh, trade on it. Oh, this is not Jet Blue, not Juniper. Jet Juniper. This is Juniper. But right now, this is looking like a sweet, sweet position for like a, a trade. Um, if you go to the daily, let's go to the daily first of all. See, this was kind of wild. If you look at it from like a from like a macro level, but if you if you if you kind of ignore like the wild swings you see that here is a descending channel pattern so it's been swinging 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 descending channel pattern and then it, it double bottomed here and then it broke out to the upside now it broke out to the upside and but I, I never i missed that position i just missed it i was i've been watching it for some time as you can see with all the lines i plotted but when it hit this double bottom i thought okay yeah so double bottom it's going to break out but i didn't get into that position so if you go into the four hour chart now when it broke out of this double bottom, it consolidated on top of the old support, old resistance as a new support, which is what I like to see, and then it started making high highs. Missed that position, I didn't want to chase it, so I left it. Now it's come back down to the resistance line, to the old resistance as a support. So I believe, so now this is a great position to probably go long, because if you go back to the daily chart, same with what I said with Juniper, if you miss a trade, because it's, it's if you if you miss a trade that's gone up. It might return back to the old resistance, touch it as a touch it, and then start climbing some more. So that's what I expect this to do, but um, you can't predict it. So, but the good thing about it is that with a position like this, because the best place to enter would have probably been 
right here when it touched the line but I didn't see it so but you can still have a good kind of risk to reward if you risk right here in this in this type of trade going long on this you're risking about 55 pips and the potential upside is 150 200 pips so that's that's like a three to one four to one so that's a good ratio I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to risk 55 pips to make 150 pound pips so um, I'd say a long position is would be good uh, on Juniper based off of the fact that it's, it's broken out of this descending channel pattern gone up came back down touched the old resistance as a new support and looks like it's, it's, it's on a bullish move to start climbing again um, yeah so those are my six stocks for my technical analysis report for today any aka the not trader signing out